Welcome students. Let's begin with the new chapter of sound. Now sound is a very common thing that we have heard and it is a very common phenomena that occurs on day to day basis. Right? You, we hear a lot of type of sound around us. We hear the sound of humans. We hear the sound of animals such as birds, dogs, etc. We also hear the sound of machines. Right? So different equipments, they also produce sound like radio, television. Right. So it is our human ears who have that special, you know, property to hear sound and it makes our lives very interesting. The transmission of information can happen easily with the help of sound. So human ears is very susceptible to different type of sounds and we have been hearing it from very long time. So let's begin our discussion. Now in the introduction, this line is very important that sound is a form of energy which produces a sensation of hearing in our ears, right? So it is not just a simple phenomena sound, it is a form of energy. And if it is a form of energy, then all the principles of energy are applicable to sound. The very important principle that we have discussed in the previous chapter is law of conservation of energy. That means energy can neither be created nor it can be destroyed. It can only be transformed from one form to another. So sound also follow this principle of law of conservation of energy since it is a form of energy. Okay, So it is producing a sensation in our ear because of which we can hear the sound. Okay, 